Hi everyone, this is just a quick video. I thought I'd give you um, a little hint and tip on juicing. Uh, in the troubling times we've got going on at the moment, juicing is a way that we can get nutrients delivered into the body very quickly. You're talking from drinking for it to be absorbed and utilised by the body 15 minutes. You know, you're not going to get that any other way. And you can pack so much into a juice because the body hasn't got to break down the insoluble fibre. So you're actually getting a lot of nutrients into the body delivered to the cells very quickly with minimal stress on a digestive system. So it's a, it's a huge beneficial way of boosting the immune system. And it's a natural way. We can use what nature's given us, fruits and vegetables, um, to boost the body's immune system, improve our wellness and health. Now, one of the biggest things people talk about when juicing is, oh, it takes too long, um, it's cleaning the juicer and all of those things. And I get it. I totally get it. So this is a little hint and tip on how we can make that a bit easier for you. And also with the food shortages, you know, people panic buying and everything else and worrying about if we can get everything we need a way. This is really about how we can store them so that you don't have to juice that often and you can store them so that if later on down the line there is a shortage on fruits and vegetables, you can still have your juice. So what, you're, what will happen is you'll see here, I'll try and do this because I'm back to front obviously. So I've already prepped, I've got a lot of different fruit and veg going on over here. So over here, fresh beets, fresh ginger, spinach, pineapples, celery. I've got pears, apples, limes, brussels, sugar snap peas, broccoli, oranges, um, courgette or if you're in America zucchini and cucumbers so out of this I'm going to make a really nice red juice I'm going to make a nice orange juice and then a really good green juice as well I'm also going to make ginger shots which is why I've got a massive tub of ginger and I'm also going to make some beetroot shots now the reason I'm doing the beetroot shots as well is because beetroot has so many health benefits um also as well you'll see in one of the other videos that i'm going to do about our digestive health and um, when you're drinking uh, maybe like half a cup of beet juice it will help to stimulate and move the um bowel so it will help to regulate the, the digestive system and help you go to the toilet uh so i'm going to make a whole batch of the beet uh, beet shots ginger shots then the green, orange and red juices. So I prep everything and I have it all here ready. I just need to take roughly chop the pineapple. Um, I've got a cold press juicer. Again, I'll do another little video about that, about what juices suit what people. I'm not going to video the whole of me juicing this. There's no point. Oh, and I forgot to mention red cabbage. That was sneakily hiding away in there. Red cabbage. Yes, okay. It does have a bit of a cabbagey smell when you juice it, but there's ways of disguising that. Um, and I'll leave that hint and tip for another day, but there are ways of making your juice um, sweeter or less sweet. There's certain things you can add in to basically disguise whatever it is you're putting in. But red cabbage, massively beneficial for the digestive system. So if you've got any kind of inflammation, well, to be honest, 99% of the population have compromised digestive systems. So this, if you've got IBS, Crohn's, colitis, anything like that, you want to be juicing red cabbage, really beneficial for the digestive tract and helping it heal. So I always put that in my red juices. So you have that beetroot along with a whole other list of ingredients. Um, I will share some recipes with you. So you've got um, them there to do. So basically, I will set those, set this fruit out. So I'll have a big pile of stuff that I need to make the green juice, then I'll have a pile of stuff that I need to make the red juice, then I'll have a pile of stuff that I need to make the orange juice, and then over here I'll have everything I need to do, the ginger shots and the beet shots, so it's all there ready, so all I've got to do is just slowly, steadily juice, once I've done my green juice, I just give it, a, I give the um, slow juicer a quick rinse out by putting water through, you can't do that with all juices, so you need to check what you've got before you do anything like that, you can't do it with the masticating, uh, the uh, centrifugal juicer, but you can do it with the slow juicers, certain brands. So check first, but I'll give it a quick rinse through and then I'll pop in and do my next juice and then my next one and so on and so forth. Now, what about storing? So what I tend to do is I've bought, and they're on eBay and they're inexpensive and these are um, plastic pots. Now they're, they're BPA free, pet free, they're, they're completely um, non-toxic pots. These are a hundred mil pots. And then I've got the larger ones over here, which are 400 mil. 
um, and they are you can put them in the freezer they freeze beautifully well so what I do is I will literally do massive I mean each juice that I make I'll make about two liters of each colored juice um, out of what I've got here maybe even more because I've got more pineapple so I might even get like three liters of juice out of this um, two four six actually my two liter jug so I'll get two four six seven liters out of that seven liters of juice I'll get out of what I've got going on here and I'll probably get about 12 to 14 ginger shots and around the same in the beet shots as well so that's a lot of juice but then what I do is I, t I pour them all into the containers I pop them in the freezer other than what I'm going to be using for um, today everything else gets put in the freezer and then you've got a freezer full of juices and all you need to do is you take it out the night before pop it on the side let it defrost a bit, then pop it in the fridge before you go to bed. And then when you get up in the morning, you can take it out, leave it on the side for an hour and it will be defrosted ready for you to drink. Now, some people worry about the um, nutrients in the juice and do they get damaged when you freeze the juices? Now, the mineral vitamins side of things, not so much. We're not sure about enzymes, um, but, you know, there are still some enzymes in there. Now, you can freeze juices for up to six months. Uh, obviously, the longer the time period that goes on, the more nutrients, you know, the less the nutrients become in there. So, you know, really and truly, you want to be doing... I always do like a week's worth. But in, in the day and age we're in now, with the current, you know, climate that we're in and, and the crisis that's going on, I will actually batch freeze and I will probably just juice. I'll do all of this. I'll pop it in the freezer and then maybe in a couple of days I'll juice again and I'll pop that in the freezer and I will stockpile it so that if it becomes in a month or two months time, it becomes a bit difficult to get fruit and vegetables. My body doesn't have to suffer it doesn't have to worry about not having its juices. I'm still getting more nutrients in that juice in two months than I would if I couldn't buy any fruit and vegetables. So, you know, at the moment, it's about looking at, okay, so it might lose some of the nutrients, but it will be a very small amount in comparison to not being able to eat any fruits and vegetables at all. So for me, normally, I would freeze and drink them all within seven to ten days. But at the moment, I will freeze and I'll drink them over however many months I need to, um, depending on what the food availability is like for fruit and vegetables. It's as simple as that. Also, this way, it means that you only have to juice once. So it's one big mammoth juice, one time that you're cleaning the juicer, and then you're going to have like weeks, a week, two weeks, three weeks worth of juice packed away in the freezer. So you don't have to juice all the time you haven't got to clean that juicer all the time it's all there in the freezer you pull it out drink it you're getting that hit of nutrients to the body and you haven't got to think oh now i've got to clean the juicer oh now i've got to clean up all this mess so you're just doing it once and stockpiling it in your freezer anyway i hope that's helpful i'll do another little video snippet for you um soon i might do one on the recipes and um, what fruits and vegetables are good for what um, the green juice, the orange juice, the red juice, how to disguise the flavours. I might do one like that for you, but I'll speak to you all very soon. Any questions, just drop a comment below um, or reach out to us and we're here to support you. Stay well, everybody. Bye-bye.